Well, here we are. And this is the final part of our latest 3x3 showdown. And just a quick recap, this particular drag race is a result of two previous rounds of three-way racing where we ran two separate groups of all-wheel drive sports cars and rear-wheel drive sports cars. They're definitely not the most conventional matchups, but we all had a good old time. Anyway, if you haven't seen it yet, I suggest you go check out those two episodes first before continuing with this one. But if you've already seen it or you just like to read the end of a book, then you already know how we got to this moment in time. And as always, we're gonna be running them down our 3,500 foot long runway for a half mile sprint. Two rolls and a dig, best out of three wins. So without further ado, let's get to know our two fighters a little better. First up is none other than the 2020 Porsche 992 Carrera S. Even though this car is essentially only a step above a base 911, it put down some seriously impressive numbers in our performance tests. Powered by a turbocharged 3 liter flat 6 that looks like a pair of subwoofers, it only makes 443 brake horsepower and 390 pounds of torque. The good thing is that it's got a relatively light curb weight of just under 3400 pounds, so power to weight is in the mid 7s. And with that said, it was able to do an impressive 9.39 in our 6 liter 130 test. I think a lot of it is due to the overboost capabilities and that lightning fast PDK. Either way, that's almost supercar quick. But on the other side of the ring is the 2020 BMW X3M competition. In our first round, this car was so fast that we had to handicap it by filling it up with five additional passengers. Powered by the soon to be legendary S58 engine, it makes an impressive 503 horsepower in stock form. But if you've been following the series, you know that this car's got a BM3 stage one tune running E30. That means it's making close to 600 wheel horsepower or an estimated 650 to the crank. Of course, it does have two disadvantages here. It's got the drag coefficient of a small naval vessel, as well as being over 1,200 pounds heavier than the Porsche. But at 4,620 pounds, the power to weight is still in the low sevens. We weren't able to capture performance data for the X3M when it had the passengers, but in today's race, I'm hoping to collect some pretty good numbers on the car. Let's get this party going. I don't know what to say. I mean, I was secretly rooting for the Porsche, but damn, it really got walked back there, huh? Even from a dig where the 992 is supposed to be a beast, it just couldn't pull off a win either. The only chance it did have was that one run in the middle where the X3M gave it the jump, but even then, you can see that I was getting reeled in in the high end. That's kind of insane because at those kind of speeds, the X3M should be losing any sort of its power advantage due to having, you know, the aerodynamics of a container home. But you know what? Let's take a look at those V-Box numbers to see what really went down. 
I'm gonna correct these times because I'll be putting the X3M on the fast list in a moment. Anyway, you can see that the BMW is significantly quicker all around. Over half a second in the 60 to 130 range. Looks like the Porsche was generally outclassed here. We didn't get clean half mile data off the V-Box from the 911, but with the hero runs we did, it would have trapped a little higher than the X3M, but lost out on ET. If you want to see more of this data or compare it to other cars, you can check out the fast list in the description below. But honestly, this speaks volumes about the S58 platform. A simple stage one tune with some ethanol and you're slaying cars that, you know, you shouldn't even be thinking about. Can't imagine what stage two or FBO might look like. I'm pretty sure it's gonna make the S55 look like kindergarten and it's gonna make me feel like, you know, massive regret for buying the X6 M50 because we were originally supposed to look at the X4M comp, but since it didn't have any of the tech features that my wife wanted, we got the X6 instead. But hey, there's always a second chance with the G82 M4, right? Well. That's all for this 3x3 showdown. Hope you guys had fun and I'll catch you on the next one. Hey guys, if you like this video, help a brother out by giving it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or if I said something weird, let me know in the comments below. You can also support the channel by sharing our stuff or maybe shop in the merch store. And if this is your first time here, don't forget to check out some of my other stuff. I produce all sorts of cool cinematic car content, so if that's your jam, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon for new episodes every week. Thanks for watching.